That went really well. Um, the person I was working with, um, she just like could tell immediately that she was doing removals from her bodies. We went through several of them, and she was just like sighing and, and laughing, and you know, she just could tell immediately there was a, a big difference, and she kept thanking me. <laughs> so it was just really, she was really happy. That's <laughs> wonderful. She could feel it. Doesn't it make us happy when we can help somebody? Yes. Yes, it does. Absolutely. Barb, you've helped a lot of people cure herpes, haven't you? I know. It's so like we're just connecting with someone else, some remote things. See, I've helped a lot of people with different viruses. Yeah, not just herpes, Epstein Barr, a lot of, that's right, a lot of other Sorry. viruses. Yeah. You had Epstein Barr also. I did. How old were you when you got mononucleosis? I was about 17, 18, yes, between 16 and 17, maybe. And, uh. Well, actually, I got it in college again. I got it, like, basically, kind of like twice. Oh, you mean you caught it again from somebody? Um, I don't know, just sort of like. Uh, or it reactivated. It reactivated. I got sort of like those symptoms, which sort of was, was almost like a flu. I, I and then, uh, then I went away, and then I. When I got tested, it never showed up in a blood test again after I started doing this. I never really had chronic fatigue syndrome, technically. I mean, I've had, well, I, I get depression often, or I have, but um, sort of on to that, too. What do you do when you get a depression? Um, well, I think, when, I remember you showed me that chart about the entrance points, and I realized that oftentimes people with like a physical disability, like I have this thing on my back, often get tend towards, you know, like low self-esteem or depression and all that stuff. So, I, number one, I just know that. And then um, I try to, like, do something to, you know, like, I do exercise or that kind of, I do something to kind of speed myself up or just, sometimes I just relax into it and let myself sleep and, um, like that. I've also met lately, that's how I met that guy, Panache Des Desai, is, like, it's amazing how uh, psychic Twitter and Facebook is, because sometimes I just let other people, you know, assist me, I like, read what they say, and I remember the nature of things, and I just try not to worry, but, I, you know, mostly it's kind of like removing it, or just not, I just notice it, and react, like pain, like I can remove pain, too. Right. Or before it used to totally, I mean, I used to be really afraid when I was in pain. When I first met you, I was in pain all the time. And you cu you cured that, you know, soon after we met. Mm, yeah, I mean, I just remember, I remember when I was, I just tried to stay really busy. I actually had a lot of pain, like when I was with Virginia, but I didn't want to talk about it. Uh -huh. I tried to stay busy, and then after, like, Florida, it's just started, like, this, this disappearing. And, uh, and then I had it, you know, when I was first moved to Santa Fe, and that used to scare me. And then I got sort of worked on to that too. But, yeah, I don't, I don't really have any back pain anymore. So you cured your back pains mm -hmm. starting way before there was a cure drive. Yeah, I mean, kind of like honestly, that was sort of like why I came to you originally. I was right. really pretty comfortable in my body. And you've, you've gone through these cycles where you've cured them and then gotten them back and cured them again. And yeah, I mean, if I do something stupid, like I did this really vigorous exercise class the other day, and, uh, you know, I was sore the next day, but I, but I knew it wasn't, you know, it was because of what I did. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I just saw Seth Friedman at the grocery store <laughs> today, and I, I was remembering this time where I did this other weird thing. I mean, I literally could not walk. And he's a friend of ours who's a big chiropractor. And I went, I just like dragged myself to his office and, and uh, he was able to fix me. But I'm just, I'm also just trying to be more gentle with myself. Yeah, Seth is a master. He is. I was thinking when I walked out, like that guy, he's just like, he's really amazing. He knows a lot about bodies and spines. He was, he was our student, Anna, back when he was oh. in chiropractic college. Wow. So we know him for a really long time. That uh -huh. was in San Francisco. Yeah. Oh. But now he's moved to Santa Fe. He lives in Santa Fe. 
has been practicing there maybe from the beginning. Mm. That's great. We call it net, it's network chiropractic, so it's a little different. Have you heard that? No, no. network? Yeah, it's kind of cool. It's like, like he, he'll have like maybe three or four or five, he'll like jump from one person to the next. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. So you don't get attached to him. That's what I remember because I used to get really attached to my doctors, but like right when he's working, then he'll just let you go and walk away. It's pretty cool. Uh -huh. Oh. Well, Anna, um, do you want to say any more about uh, curing herpes or and or helping people cure it? I think I um, pretty much said what I've been going through. And also what you've been accomplishing. Yeah, that's right. So, no outbreaks for a year and a half. That's been fantastic. And you and it took you about a year and a half to because you discovered uh, that you could cure it about three years ago. Yeah. And it took you about like a year and a half to get to the point where you had your last outbreak. Right. Where I had control of it. Now see, mm -hmm. my, my final outbreak was the very first day I discovered I could cure oh. it. <laughs> you were one of the lucky ones. <laughs> I don't know if it was, you know, I used to think well, you know, that curing herpes was so easy, what was the problem? But I realized, see, I had been curing a great many other things before I got uh, to the point where I discovered I could cure my herpes. I just had been curing thing after thing. Yeah, and I had to do a lot, too, like traumas and so many things that are on the, on the website. I just had to go through all the material and just work on everything at once. Yeah, that's exactly right. Yeah, just, you know, hit it head on. That's what I did. See, I did everything at once, and there was this moment when I had a herpes outbreak. And mm -hmm. then this thought came to me that I could cure it. <clears throat> and that was just a, in, a, in a flash, you know, in my... My pain went away in five minutes, and it yeah. felt like, gee, it only takes five minutes to cure herpes, but I, I just wasn't giving myself credit for all the, you know, all the blood, sweat, and tears that had come before with all the other things that I cured. <laughs> right, exactly. Uh, I, I realized today that anybody really can cure anything if they... They really apply themselves. Like I was with this man today whose father has Alzheimer's, and and I and he was saying how his father was just like him back in the day. So it's hard to believe him. he considers himself very powerful and articulate. And, but I realized that you know he could get it too. Like if, unless he like this kind of work prevents things too. Like you have to once you face yourself, like you're less likely to manifest a, like an aberrated thing like a outbreak of herpes or a you know, condition that renders you, you know, un incapable of coping with life mm -hmm. and stuff. Like the more, the earlier you start confronting, the better it is for your health. Well, that's why the web college is good. Well, also, you know, my, my life and my career have gone particularly well yeah. since I started curing things. Because before I started curing, I was... Um, you know, I was just chasing phantoms in my career, and I, you know, people considered me very successful, but uh, I wasn't happy. Well, it looks like we've lost Anna, and but I think this is good for now. You know, Barb, okay. uh, do you Thank have you. do you have you. do you have more to say? No, it's a good thing for me to think about. I appreciate it. Being included. Hi, Anna. I'm so glad we could, uh, you know, that we could do this together. And I want you to know I'll be putting this uh, up on your YouTube uh, channel, Barb, and on okay. Anna's. Well, there's okay. Anna again. She's, yeah, she's back. Hey. I was just saying I was gonna. I'm gonna put up your YouTube movies. You know, probably tomorrow. This movie. 
will be on both of your channels. Okay. All right. <laughs> content, content, that's what they say. Yeah, yeah, content is everything, isn't it? Well, you have content because you've accomplished, both of you have accomplished enough so that you can really help other people. Mm -hmm. find the serious people? Yeah, you have to find the serious people and you have helped yeah. quite a few of people at, who were at various stages of seriousness. <laughs> Some not as serious as right. others. <laughs> right. But you've there helped them all. Be, there, there is something to be said for getting a fee because I think when you're motivated also to follow up with these people you know, like, I can generally be as serious as they are. And, uh, it'd be fun to go all the way with some to a negative medical test. So. That person will show up. Well, Barb, in your case, I mean, you can just walk out in the street right downstairs from where you live. Oh, it's amazing. And you can meet the most amazing people on the planet. Yeah, we're lucky. Uh -huh. Santa Fe is a, a, the, a you know a watershed for. It is amazing. Amazing people, yeah. And now this, this guy was telling me I met this friend of of uh, Jennifer's who he was a very successful artist in person, and he used to have a a gallery like directly below me. I'm on the third floor, I guess, or second and a half, and he was directly below me, and that's what he said. He used to just. Sometimes he would just go for a walk, like to the hotel, and meet somebody and bring them back to his gallery. Right. Anyway, cool. Thank you. Perfect. Well, th wait, thank you both, and I will okay. be seeing you very thank soon. You. Thanks, Alan. See you guys Monday. Have a good weekend. Bye. Thank you. Ciao. This is the web website. It's curedrive.org. Um, we teach people how to cure a great many diseases, not just herpes or cancer or whatever the disease is that you found a volunteer to help with. But see, this is the, this is the cure show. And there are, if you see the alphabet, that's the diseases. When you click on one of those letters, you go to fever, fibromyalgia, flu, and you hear, uh, we record ourselves, we record our cures. Most people who come to this web college So this is the home page set. and this is the movie right here. It just it plays automatically. So you notice when I went back to the home page it started playing and this is where you're supposed to start. Like before you speak to a volunteer you should first familiarize yourself with this. Not only is this movie on the home page but there are just other things you can look at, such, such as this is our Twitter feed, and these are people who help people cure things talking to each other in the Twitter feed on the right, that the black, the big black thing. And then there are other options and steps. But your first step, this movie is four and a half hours, and it will tr the movie will train you to uh, construct a cure that's specific to you so that you're not trying to cure, because if, if a volunteer t tells you how they cured their disease and you do that, you will be curing their disease instead of yours. But if you, this is the movie uh, that I'm clicking to various parts of, but if you watch this movie and you'll see many people doing many important things for themselves and you'll understand what to do for yourself. Uh, doesn't cost a penny to watch it, and that's your first step.